Hey everyone, welcome to Surgery Tech channel again. Today we have like uh, another, actually it's not another uh, tutorial, it's just continuation of the previous tutorial which was about the movement in Simon Sayer portal with CC. I will just continue because I forgot to talk about a uh, few things like uh, for the movement as I said here in the previous tutorial we just like move this here then when reset it come back here again we want it like to move from here to there then come back so for this I'm gonna change this block remove all the things we don't need it and for this I'm gonna use a counter decounter really this gonna drag it here okay this is our counter the counter it comes up and down so here like we will for counting up we we'll use two contacts like the one before also for the count down we we'll use the two of them I think we have the same clock memory yes it's 100 because it's the same project I worked on let's save it as another project So here like the clock signal as I said we use M100.5 which was like for one second and then I changed it to 2 hertz uh, I think it's 2 or 3 hertz maybe for what is this one two like for the count up or count down we always need a, a clock signal then the signal to activate this shows 0 and 1 then 0 and 2 for the reset let's actually set this Okay, load input we don't need it. it just like stop the count up or count down this is like the value for which the, Q, the output will be set on one we don't need it like this also we will not need it we just need like the value the memory word let's use 30 let's use 10 okay so this is our counter the counter and we will add this tag to the previous rectangle move object yes it's already with the tag 4 Okay. Sorry, I always forgot about the frame position. Change this to twenty. Okay, then let's save the project and simulate this. So this tutorial is just a follow up of the previous one, just uh, things I forgot to talk about in the previous one. Yeah. 
let's see if it's working. Yes, it's working. Let's simulate our module here or the HMI. Okay, it's working fine. Now you see this movement like from left to right and right to left. It always depends on the value of the counter or counter the counter or the counter whatever you are using. Sometimes you need to use one of them. Some projects actually need the counter the counter as I worked on them before. So this is it, this thing I forgot about it, just movement from left to right and right to left. And actually I wanted to talk about another problem I faced before and I found a, a little solution. I don't think it's the smartest one, actually if you have a better idea or a better solution you can tell me about it. So here like in some project when you move from the left to the right, when you reach the limit, actually you want this uh, rectangle to automatically go back here and start again until it reached the point and go back here and start again like not uh, going back uh, this way but uh, like this to start from here and go back again to the limit like this stop in the limit then start from the beginning again I found a little solution about this but uh, if you have a better one tell me about it let's go back to the main okay remove all these things I don't need them so for that other trick like we want to come back and start again we will uh, like add a counter for this tool I just screened all the networks it's a normal CTU here we have like just the previous one signal and the activation signal okay if you want to restart it again like we just have us we will use this time this PV and this Q like uh, for which value we want Q to be activated it will be the 20 so once it will reach 20 the Q will be activated which will activate uh, an output Let's name the image zero, 0 Then the same output here will be as an input here. So once this will reach 20, this will be activated, which will reset this counter. It's a uh, very simple. If you have a better idea, you can tell me about it. So the memory world is always 10. Okay, it's simple as that. We load the program. Launch our simulation. Okay, so once we set this active, it will reach 20 and come back from the star again. So those are the things I forgot to talk about in the previous tutorials. They are like very simple uh, tricks and sometimes you need them in your project. I used them uh, in a few projects. 
so if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe if you have a question you can ask it in the comment or send me a message on the facebook page and see you next time Hey, that's pretty good.